Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back and Happy New Year. I hope you all made it safe and sound into 2024. And since a lot of you have been asking about a new Active Pieces video and a lot of you probably have resolutions for the new year, I just thought about building a quick habit tracker using Active Pieces. So here's how this works. I want to keep track of my exercise habit. So at the end of every day, I want to send myself a notification that is asking me did you exercise today? Yes or no? And this notification will be sent to Notify, one of the integrations that we're going to use, which allows me to click a yes or no button. And this will use the approval piece within Active Pieces. So depending on my choice, it will just record whether I work out or not in a Google Sheet so that we can display some nice graphics or run some statistics or what have you. So let's jump right in. You can see I have Active Pieces open here already. I'm running my own instances. This is why the URL might different from the one that you see, but we're starting from scratch anyway. So click here. This trigger, I want to run this every day. Um, yeah, at the end of the day. So let's go 11 p.m. I'm in Berlin time zone. Let me just quickly select that. And I also want to run this on weekends because I might work out on weekends as well. So that's that. The next thing that I will already add is a way of getting the current date because I want to capture that. So we go to Quora, search for date and there's the date helper. So what this piece is essentially doing is just getting the current date and formatting it in a way that I can use it. So say get current date. Uh, I want a time format that works for me without changing too much. So I'm going with this one. Again, changing time zone to Berlin because this is where I'm. Let's test the step. Okay, that works. So you can see it's January the 8th, 2024, which is correct. And we just leave it at that because we're gonna need that uh, later on. So the next step is um, already starting with the approval flow. So this is in core and it says approval. So you have two actions here, wait for approval and create approval links. The way this works is you always have to make sure that you create the approval links first because these are the ones that will be sent to notify. So we can click yes or no. Because once we wait for approval, the flow will just stop or pause until it gets approval. If you don't have the links or if you don't happen to know the URL how to build these links, your flow will be stuck. So make sure you create the approval links first. Let me test this. Uh, that should be really quick. So you can see it generates two properties. Let me bring this in here. So it has approval link and disapproval link. So this is a test run, but this usually will be replaced with the actual instance of your run. Um, but this is fine for now. So, and these links I now want to send to Notify. So I have this open here, and in case you don't notice, Notify is a service which you can use to send HTTP messages to. So it will just show you a notification which I, without signing up or anything of that fast. It's really lightweight and usable, and you can just subscribe to any topic. So what I would recommend is you generate a UUID. Uh, so you can go to uuidgenerator.net, and then to say generate a version for UUID, you can see changes here. Uh, these are considered cryptographically secure, so um, that means no one should be able to guess them because if you send uh, sensible data to notify, you don't want this to leak, right? Because what I can do now is uh, subscribe to your topic, paste that UUID and subscribe. And that's all. Now I'm subscribed. So this means if you share that UUID with someone else outside of your home, everyone's able to read, right? Now everyone watching this video will be able to read these notifications. I might even leave them in here so you can see how it works. So this is the UUID. Just um, make sure that you've copied this and then go back to active pieces because we sent out the links now using um, Notify. So I'm sending a notification here. I have a connection already configured. Uh, you can do this in the connections. Uh, just click new connection here. I have already one available. So the topic now is the UUID that we generate. Again, you can really name it anything. UUID, I just use them because again, they are hard to guess. You can also name them James Funny Notification, something like that. But it's arguably easier to guess, so you probably want to avoid that. So this is the topic. Um, the message is, did you exercise uh, today? Question one. The title is, I call this Habit Tracker. Um, we don't need any tags, but we need actions. Here's what this looks like. We can now configure actions that will be shown in Notify and let me write them first. So this is the format, you start with action equals and then you type HTTP because we want the actions to perform HTTP calls to active pieces. So it's HTTP, then a comma, then the label for that first action. I just call it yes, because the question is, did you exercise today? And yes is one of the answers. And then I get the uh, approval link and I get the approve link. Then I hit semicolon 
And then I do again HTTP, but now I do no, and we insert the disapproval link like so. Now let's actually test this. I test the step, go to notify, wait. There we go. Can you see that? So this is the message, it has the title. Yeah, have a track and the question, did you exercise today? And you can see yes or no. And I'm not sure if you can see the overlay here, but it says send HTTP post to HTTP active pieces, blah, 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 which is the flow test run, right? So that's not really useful here. Uh, but this is what we're gonna use. Now we have to evaluate the answer. And this is what we do here. Now this is the second part of the approval piece, which is approval, uh, wait for approval, right? Now we say to the flow that it should be waiting until someone clicks yes or no. Otherwise it will be stuck, right? If you send yourself these notifications and don't click links, you will, and you do this every day, you will end up with a lot of flows that will just pause and wait until you just approve uh, or reject them. So here we are waiting. Let me test the step as well. So it says approve true, which is just a simulation, which is fine. And now we branch out, right? So we use a branch piece. And so the first thing that we can select is wait for approval, approve true, right? So we insert that. And then the condition, condition. so this is Boolean is true. So we say, if this is true, test the step, condition true, fine. So we are in the left side of this branch. Now we bring in the sheets. So this is Google Sheets um, and uh, let's first create a file actually. So this is my Google Drive. I hit new Google Sheet and we call this exercise habit tracker. I want it to have a date and a value. So let me, okay, let's change the font. I'm a big fan of, I can't even pronounce that. Let's make this bigger, let's make this bold. And there we are. This is our sheet. It's called Exercise Habit Tracker. So let's go back to Active Pieces and we say Insert Row. Connection. I already have um, Google Sheets connected so I can recycle that one. Now it's looking for spreadsheets and we'll wait while this is being loaded. There we go. Exercise Habit Tracker is the most recent one so it shows up at the top. There's just one sheet. I can select this. Um, and now we go down here. So these are the values. Now as you have seen I have a column for date and one for the value. So for the date, we can now conveniently use our date from the date helper. And the second column, I, I want to use, if I, if I exercise, I want to use a one, the number one. And if I did not exercise, I want to use a zero. So I can compute the average and so on much easier. So I add one here and that should be good. So let's actually test that step. Go to the exercise here by where I ex oh. And you can see that has worked, right? So we have the date in here and we have the value one. So what I wanna show here are also some sort of statistics because we can show the average, um, yeah, numerical average, that should be fine. For column B until the end of column. So, and what would be nice is to have a percentage. So we wanna see how, how our success rates uh, or success rate looks like. So I go for percent, 100%, right? So did I exercise today? Yes, I did. So 100% success rate. So let's also check the other case. Uh, let me first rename that so it's clear what I'm doing. So this is lock success. There we go. Uh, that should be good. I can copy this and drag it in here. And we call this lock failure, which is exactly the same, uses the same document, the same sheet, blah, 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 current date. But here we set a zero and I'm testing the step. And we can see it shows up here, it says value zero. And now I'm only at 50% success rate, uh, which is sad. Um, and that pretty much wraps up the whole flow. So let's test the whole flow from notify. So I'm waiting here again for the notification to come in, just assuming that the end of the day has arrived. And it asked me, did you exercise today? Yes or no? So it's, hmm, did I or did I not? And actually I say, and you can see this is no longer testing, but it, it has the ID of the actual flow in. So did you exercise that? Yes, I did. There's a check mark going back to the dock, just waiting a few seconds in here. And there it is. Uh, third record for the day. So I did a lot of exercise today, apparently. So value one, statistics update to 66.67% uh, percent success rate. Um, and that's how you can build a simple habit tracker using active pieces. There are, of course, a few limitations because this is just tracking one individual metric, which is fine, I think. 
Um, you don't have to use Notify as I've done in this example. You could also use the links that are generated here with uh, create approval links and you could send yourself an email and then just format it nice and say, did you exercise today? Yes or no? And you could trigger the very same thing for the email, uh, which also would probably work. All right, short and sweet one that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see further automations. I'm happy to do videos about them and I'll see you on the next one.